Welcome to Lincoln, Nebraska and Memorial Stadium. This sea of red, ready to rock. One of the most loyal fan bases in the sport, ready to see the Cornhuskers get back to that championship level. And a game like this is what makes college football great. Yeah, there's history and tradition, but right here, right now, there is tremendous intensity and bitterness on this field. You can feel it. So we'll see a squad out of the Big 12, the Colorado Buffaloes. Taking on a squad from the Big Ten, the Nebraska Cornhuskers. 3A Sports College Football. I'm Chris Fowler here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. The Cornhuskers will kick this away to get us going. Fields it inside the five-yard line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. Just underway, and this whole crowd is fired up and ready to make a difference today. Already got the first down, but looking for more yardage. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Chris, I know it's the first play of the game, but boy, nice job by this offensive line. The back gets behind him, picks up some positive yards. And the Buffaloes come up to the line in a hurry up. On first end, they'll keep their running game churning. They stop out at the 42. That's a solid game getting closer to midfield. I mean, this is exactly how they wanted to start when it opened up this game, especially on the road. It's a really well blocked play, pick up a good chunk of yards. And if you're the offensive line, this is what you've talked about all week in your meetings. Establish the line of scrimmage and take control of things up front. They give their running back plenty of room to pick up those good yards. They're going to run it. Try to run it up the middle, but get nothing. Are we going to see a repeat? Remember last time these teams played, it got ugly. Chris, that's one of those games you just hate to see in a rivalry game when it gets so one-sided. Hoping today to see this defense play much better. Second down play coming up. Handing off on the draw play. He'll be taken down, but he crosses midfield of the 48. But this defensive coordinator better make some adjustments. This back is on fire to start this game. You better start committing those safeties down, overloading that line of scrimmage, because this back is physical, he's got speed, and he is tough to bring down. And the Buffaloes will line up on first and ten. Scanning the field. It's Sanders. Quick throw. Catch made on the out route. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. Well, the defense loads up to show blitz, and anytime they bring that kind of pressure, the quarterback knows he's got to be able to get the ball out of his hands quickly. Nice job of locating the tight end for that first down. The drive stays alive with that completion for a first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Fires it to the wide out. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And the tackle is made, but the offense now is set up. First and goal from the nine. But this quarterback and this receiver are a matchup that's tough for any defense to match up with. If I'm the defensive coordinator, I got to start thinking about cheating a safety over against this guy to slow him down and not allow him to have such a big day. First and goal, handoff. And he will be stuffed for no gain. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no game. Boy, great job by this defense on this second down run. Just stonewalled them at the line of scrimmage. Now they get a chance to really pressure the quarterback here, trying to get off the field. The offense has been moving backwards here. Now a long way to go on third and goal. Quarterback. 
quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. That one is over everyone's head beyond the end zone and incomplete. Chris, you get this deep into an opponent's side of the field and come away with three instead of six, man, it is a letdown. That's certainly not what they're looking for here on third and long from inside the red zone. So now on fourth down, out comes the field goal unit. Knocks that one right down the middle. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. And here's the return from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. This line gets set up. It's a first down play. Scanning the field, it's Wyola. It's an out route, the catch made. Then he'll run out of bounds after picking up a few yards on the play. Love to see the short passing game as a great go-to for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable and allows you to see how the defense is reacting. That can open up for other things later on. Pass complete. It's second down now. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. Moves the ball out across the 30. That's good for a first down. That is a first down. Good job by this big offensive line and this running back to be able to pick up positive yards. How often have we said that over the years with backs and offensive line play from Nebraska? Fresh set of downs. It's first and ten. There's the handoff. He's found some room with the 45. Oh, and he breaks free. It's a foot race. You know, make it into the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. Chris, all week I wondered if this back might get loose and come up with a big play like this. The defense had their back turned, couldn't really see where he was. By the time they realized it, he just had too much speed and he's able to take it to the end zone. the lineup to kick the extra point. Kick goes through, so it's 7-3. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. Last time out, they moved the ball well, but had to settle for a chip shot field goal. We'll try the ground game here with the running back. The Buffaloes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Hand off to the single back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? They make the stop just short of the marker. It's going to be fourth down and inches to go. And the Buffalo 
Bowles will line up to punt it away. Looking to flip the field here. On the return, it's Henderson. And the returner will be brought down. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. They reached the end zone the last time out, trying to do the same thing here. Play action here on first down. That one sails incomplete for Houston Fogg. You know, the game often comes down to a play or two, and the offense just missed a huge opportunity for a big play. They're going to have to make some adjustments there and maybe go back to that play and see if they can come up with a big opportunity. Incomplete. Second down coming up. The back's got it. Jukes to get free. They bring him down at the 45 and a solid gain to keep this drive going. Boy, just a great play by the running back here. Just finding his lanes and exploding through the gap when it opened up. First down and 10. That one falls incomplete. Good defensive play. It brings up second down. Well, Kirk, you played in plenty of rivalry games. How do they feel different from the others? Well, Chris, rivalry games, and, and depending on who the coach is, this is a game you think about all year. You know, you're working out in the weight room. You're doing drills in summer two-a-days. Everything is focused on getting to this game and playing your very best. And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. I uses the spin move to get into the open. Oh, and he's in the clear now. It's a foot race. Finally brought down to the 12. An explosive play puts him in great scoring position. Boy, the running back looks like he's possessed on that run. No defender could get two hands on him long enough to bring him down, so he picks up a lot of those yards after contact. And the Huskers looking to keep this drive rolling. And at first down, they go right back to him. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. This running back's had a big night, the kind of night you dream about, but the defense finally steps up and gets to him behind the line of scrimmage. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Takes the snap and takes off on the run. The sophomore able to bring him down quickly. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Caught near the goal line. They stop him just short. The defense really backed up now. It's first and goal. Boy, how about the read here by this quarterback to find his open man and keep this drive moving. Great conversion. And when you're in the red zone, you got to think about getting a touchdown. You want to come away with six points. And now they've got a shot to get it. Keep it on the ground on first and goal. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. It is tough to run the football inside this five-yard line. Give all the credit to that defensive line, eating up those linemen, allowing the rest of the defense to fly to the football for that short loss. Coming up, second down and goal. Trying to find the end zone off the right side. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. And they get stopped here on second down. It's going to bring up a third and goal situation. And from this far back out, wouldn't be surprised to see them go through the air. Just don't want the quarterback to take a sack here. Make sure he gets the ball out of his hands quickly. And the offense facing a third and goal from a long way away. Dropping back, it's Wyola. Looking to the end zone. And it's caught. Touchdown, Cornhuskers.
try to add to the lead now with the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. And he takes this from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Tough running there. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. Coaches told us in the pregame production meetings they love this back's mixture of speed and power. We know about the speed. But he also showed the ability to break tackles on that run. And the Buffaloes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Offense operating at high tempo now, no huddle. And here's the handoff. And it'll be smothered right at the line for no gain. has to convert the third and long from the 30 to get this drive going. Dropping back, we're going to throw for the first down. Looking to set up a screen pass here. They finally get him down, but a solid gain in that screen pass. Good call there. What a great job here by the offensive coordinator on this screen pass, realizing that it might be available. This defense is all about pressuring the quarterback. That's a perfect time to run the screen using that pressure against the defense. It worked out well. Pick up the first down. Off the play fake on first down. Looking to make a big play downfield. This one is broken up and falls incomplete. Most offensive coaches will be happy taking those 50-50 shots against man coverage. But I'm curious to see if they're going to test this DB again after that coverage. So, second down after the incompletion. Looking to throw. It's Sanders. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. Not much after the catch, but it is good enough for a first down. Great execution here by this offense against zone coverage with a curl route. Hit that last step in your drop. You see where you want to go with it. Put it right on his shoulder for a first down. The Buffaloes with first and ten here. Fakes the handoff here. Looking to throw it. And he's got his man. Open downfield. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. Four verticals is a tough scheme to defend, especially if you do not get pressure on the quarterback. He's able to sit back, read the safeties, find the open man, and deliver the football. Huge gain by the offense. And the Buffaloes come to the line in the hurry up. And now the handoff. It's good for a three-yard game, so second and seven. Offense coming to the line. They might have a chance for a couple more plays before we reach the end of the quarter. Sticking with the running game. Nothing doing in that play. A big D tackle there for the stop. Boy, this defense is strong up front. Linebackers are flying downhill, able to make plays against this run game. Now they get this offense to another third down. 
Now you pressure that quarterback and try to build on the lead. Catch made on the out route. He's not going to get the first down. It's fourth down now. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. Pick is up and no good. Missed opportunity to make this a one-score game. Still losing by 11. Boy, these guys are usually more reliable than this. I thought that was going to be an easy field goal in three points, but instead, he misses, so you walk away with nothing. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. Oh, man. You have a good play dialed up and a great chance at yards, and it goes right through his hands. That'll drive the offensive coordinator in the booth absolutely crazy. So after the incompletion, it's second down. Back to throw. It's Twyola. Looking for the wide out. Oh, and he flat dropped it. He's going to bring up third down for this offense. That's everything you want to see from an offense. Great execution. The line gave the quarterback time. Quarterback makes a great read, throws it to his guy, and the receiver drops it. Now he's going to have to shake that off and get ready to make that next play. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. Easy throw to a wide open receiver downfield. Tackle is made, but that's good for a first down of the 47. That's what makes this tight end so dangerous. You can flex him out into that slot position. He shows you his versatility. He can be an inline guy that can block, but here he shows you what he can do with his hands. The offense really clicking here. They'll try the right here. Got the first down, now looking for more. Tackle is finally made, but not before. It's a huge gain down to the 25. Big wins like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. When the teams can run the ball, pick up yards like this, really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And they'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. And that's incomplete, even on a first down pass attempt. He felt heavy pressure. Kind of a fine line here, Chris, for me when it comes to throwing a screen pass. You don't want to throw it too early, obviously, and the defense reacts quickly and can sniff it out. And you definitely don't want to throw it too late and potentially get sacked. you got to make sure it hits just right for this play to work. Here's some pre-snap movement in the backfield. Bringing pressure. This time it's complete. Good enough for first down yardage. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. The Cornhuskers begin a new series here, first and ten. The tight end goes in motion before the snap. Ball handed off. That's another good run for him, but what else is new? That ought to put him right at 150 yards for the game. He has really made his presence felt today. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Back's got it again. And he's tackled down at the four-yard line. Defense getting pushed back. This is crucial. Defense needing a stop on third down, trying to force a field goal. On third and short, they'll try to throw for it here. Signs a good throw. And they stop him just short of the end zone. The offense set up with a first and goal now. Now that's what I call coming through for your team in a pressure situation. Great read. Got the ball where it needed to go, and now you're set up to get six. The Huskers will line up now. It's first and goal.
on the ground, trying to punch it in for the score. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And it's first and goal. You're thinking about trying to score. You're looking at positive yards instead. You're going backwards. That's going to set up a very important second down call here. Offense facing second and goal. It's a quarterback keeper. And he runs it into the end zone. Touchdown, Huskers. So still early, but this offense beginning to build momentum and build the lead after. As we've seen over the years, Chris, good teams know how to use the first quarter to establish the lead, the second quarter to increase the lead, and the final half just to hold on to it. They're following that blueprint perfectly, widening the distance between them and their opponent before we even get to the locker room. Now with the PAT. The extra point makes the lead 18 now. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. Fields it just outside the goal line. It'll be tackled in the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. And the Buffaloes hustle to the line to crank up the tempo. Inside give now for the shotgun. And the game moves the ball to the 20 yard line. Solid gain in the running play. Third down now. Sanders throwing for his running back but they don't connect it's incomplete and it brings up fourth down the Buffaloes will line up to kick it away when he comes for his second punt of the game He'll call for the fair catch here. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. Their last possession was a beautiful, balanced touchdown drive. Can the defense come up with answers this time? Catch made on the left side. And look at this, the fullback getting involved in the passing game. You don't see that too often these days. Well, how about the big fella? The good news is this guy has pretty good hands, and we saw it right there on full display. makes it second and short from the gun he looks for an open man it's intercepted trying to fire it into a tight window runs through a tackle he's got space here he's got some room and some blockers here touchdown buffs wow what a play defensive score and a pick six, a monster play by this defense here, Kirk. That defender showed a lot of athletic ability there with the ball in his hands. I wouldn't be surprised if the head coach watching that thought about maybe giving in some reps as a returner after that touchdown. Lining up to try the extra point. They make the extra point, but trail 21-10. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He's going to return it from near the goal line. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. It'll be interesting to see if this quarterback
quarterback can bounce back. He threw a pick six in the last possession. Keeping it on the ground here. Only a small game. Now we're going to second and nine. The shotgun run ball. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. <laughs> So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. To the air, it's Raiola. It's a screen pass complete to the running back. And they're finally able to stop him. The great execution on the screen pass fooled the defense there. And Kirk Depp gets him over 150 yards today. He just put on a huge show on a big stage. Yeah, every time he seems to get his hands on the football, he's making big plays. They have built their offense around his playmaking ability, and it's paid off today. The Cornhuskers starting a new series here on first and ten. They're going to run it here. Picks up three yards, so second and seven. Third down play coming up after that run. They'll keep it on the ground with the draw play. Fighting for yardage, but the defense stops him just short of that first down marker. And the Huskers will bring their punt team onto the field. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. He'll hand it off. They'll tackle him at the 27. And the Buffaloes come to the line to run the hurry up. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside handoff. And they make the stop and get the ball carrier down. third down for this offense from the 26-yard line. Back to pass. It's Sanders. Makes the catch downfield. He's tackled quickly, but the yardage is good enough for the first down. That's good execution of the pitch and catch to pick up the first down there. Nice conversion. A really nice conversion here. To me, the route is what separated this play. And the fact that he's able to get to this point downfield, and by the time he turned around, that ball is on him. So nice route and nice hands there to be able to pick up the first down. First down, looking to throw the ball. And he's got it. Big play. Moves the ball all the way to the plus 35. But I love that they continue to go back to this talented wide receiver. That's back-to-back -back plays with big gains, and it's not surprising. Like I said, the scouting report all week long, we've heard about this guy's ability to make plays against this defense, and the quarterback and the receiver right now have a nice rhythm going. On first down, it's play action. 
The pocket breaking down. Cannot escape that ferocious pass rush to sack. They finally come up with their first sack of the game. Do it by blitzing the DB. Love to see the secondary get involved. I know it's a bit of a risk. You play some man coverage behind it, but you can see how dangerous it can be when you decide to bring these defensive backs because of their speed and how quickly they can get to the quarterback. After the sack on first down, it's second down. They'll go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yardage yet. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. On third down, he drops to throw. The pass rush closing in. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. This will be about a 53-yard attempt. Let's see if he can get it there. This one is right through. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. They come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Return starts from inside the five. And he's tackled at the 21. That's when the drive will start. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. Forced to punt last time, trying to add points, build the lead right here. And a short pitch and catch to the tight end. But a huge collision blow delivered there by the linebacker. Completion sets up a second down play. To throw, it's Wyola. Receiver makes the grab. And the game just good enough for a first down. You're on a slant route, you like to see some big yards after the catch. But the defense has such tight coverage, there's just nowhere to go. That's a win for the defense, even though they gave up a completion. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? From the shotgun, drops back. And he finds a wide open receiver. They forgot about him downfield. Big play in enemy territory all the way to the 41 yard line. The offense will take their first 10 out of the half to talk strategy here. The Cornhuskers lining up here on first and 10. Looking to chuck it again. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Well, he's already thrown an interception here in this first half. He doesn't want to make a habit of this going forward. Almost threw another one. Incompletion sets up a second down. Offense looking to throw the ball. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. Oh, and it's batted down by the defense. Great play to deny a touchdown. I don't know if people understand how hard it is to defend against a deep ball in man coverage like that. But this defensive back did it perfectly. Turns his head back just in time to find the ball to ensure that incompletion. Off the play fake, looking to throw the football. Running out of time in the pocket. The pass is off target. He got hit as he threw as the third down pressure worked. The quarterback did all he could here to wait until the last possible moment, but he waits just a hair too long, 
which allows the defense to actually hit him as he throws the ball. The Huskers will bring their punt team on the field now. We're going to kick it away for the second time. And the punt goes out of bounds. The officials now will mark the spot. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. Let's see what they do here in the final minute of the half. Try to get aggressive and cut into this lead or play it safe. Looks downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. Timeout is called to talk strategy late in this close game with halftime approaching. So just one play and they're just shy of midfield now. On first and ten here looking to throw the ball. Looks to his left and makes the completion. The offense will now quickly spend a timeout. Pass caught. Second down now. Dropping back. It's Sanders. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. the first down through the air. Defense spends their second timeout to try to regroup. I like how this defense is bringing pressure from all over the field, and that's the key in putting together a good defensive strategy. On this play, it came from the outside linebacker, and he gets to the quarterback. And he boots it out of bounds. Not very long. And the kick angles out of bounds, so no return possible here. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. Off the play fake, looking to throw. And the junior gets home, making a sack there. Boy, they're making this offensive line really think and communicate. Bringing different blitzes. This time, the outside linebacker gets to the quarterback and comes up with a big sack for the D. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. And he'll be brought down, and that will wrap up the first half of play. Meadows going to wrap up the first half here. Let's kick it down to Kevin Connors with our halftime update. And the Buffaloes will kick this away to start the second half. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. And they get the second half started with their running play. They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. Boy, positive yards there on first and 10. Good job up front by that offensive line. Good hard running by this running back. And now you got a lot of options. That playbook can really open up on second and inches. Second down play coming up for this offense. And on the carry, he's heading left. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, there's something we haven't seen much in this game at all. That ball carrier being tackled near the line of scrimmage. Maybe if this defense can make more plays like that in the second half, their team will be able to chip away at this lead. Offense looking to convert on third and short from the 27. Can he get there on the ground? Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Maybe this stop is an indicator of what's to come for this defense. The offense, frankly, has been able to enforce their will in the first half, but maybe things are starting to change. The Cornhuskers will send the punt team onto the field. This one will be fair caught. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. The last time they were forced to punt it away. Can they get points out of this possession? They're going to run it. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. will hustle to the line to crank the tempo. From the shotgun, handoff inside. 
tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. When they tried to get the counter play to the edge guard, we've seen this defense show their ability to pursue and fly to the football. Yeah, they sure can, and they did a nice job on this counter play. A lot of times you'll see those counters go more up into the middle of a defense, but they tried to bounce that to the outside, and that gave you an idea of what kind of speed this defense has. Makes a quick catch. The defense stops him short of the marker, so it's fourth down coming up. Man-to-man -man coverage, you run the drag route, you prefer to get the ball downfield, but the matchup called for at least some positive yards underneath, and he makes a nice throw. And the Buffaloes will bring their punt team onto the field. Running it back, it's Henderson. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. Trying to build on their lead, they were forced to punt on the last possession. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards, sets up a nice second and two. Same tailback, another carry. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Critical third down play for this offense right here. Try and muscle for the first down. He shreds the tackle. You head out of bounds, but not before picking up enough for a first down. Boy, Chris, you cannot overstate how big of a conversion this was to be able to pick this up on the ground. Yeah, the offense still has the lead, but you can just feel the defense having all the momentum with the points they've been able to compile. And that run right there picks up a first down and can kind of settle things down a bit. There's the handoff. Runner finding some space there. That's a solid gain on the ground. Second down after that run on the previous play. Scanning the field, it's Raiola. Quick throw to the left. The pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. Off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and two. They'll try the left side with a toss. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. And the Huskers will have to kick it away. And they'll punt it away for the fourth time today. Oh, and he shanked it. That punch sails out of bounds. There'll be no return this time. And here comes the Colorado offense back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. Breaks into the clear. It's a sprint. They're not going to get him. He's in. Touchdown, Buffaloes. That's a crucial score. Let's see if they can build momentum and complete this comeback. Well, I know they're still trailing, but that score is a great first step in trying to break down this lead. You don't want to leave it all to the fourth quarter when the pressure really intensifies and you have limited time. The offense still out there. They'll set up to go for two here, trying to tie the game. Looking to throw. It's Sanders. 
And he grabs it in the end zone. The conversion will tie up this football game. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. He'll return it from inside the five. The returner coughs up the football inside their own 20. What is grabbed by the kicking team? And the Buffalo's offense is back out there on the field. And this offense scores the defense with a lightning strike, a one-play touchdown in the last possession. Let's see if they can duplicate that magic here. Off an RPO, the quarterback looks to his right. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. Well, this is why they want to get his hands on the football as often as possible. We always know about his ability to make plays downfield, but here they just get it to him quick on a wide receiver screen. He shakes the tackle and picks up nice yards. And the Buffaloes looking to use the up-tempo offense here. First and goal, handoff. Ball carrier brought down at the four. Offense in great scoring position here. We'll see if the offense can punch it in on second and goal. They'll feed the back again. Run it up the middle, but stuff for no gain. It's a nice play by this defense, and now you're thinking about third down and goal from around the five-yard line. You get a real shot to come up with a stop here, whether they run it or throw it. You get a stop here, and maybe hold the three points. So it's third down and four. Suddenly, their field goal here would really be a letdown after a great field position. Quarterback looking to connect with the receiver here. Looking to the end zone, but it's incomplete. Well, they decide to throw the ball here on third down and short. I really thought the easy thing is just run the quarterback or hand it off, pick up the first down, keep this drive alive, and get six points. Hold on here a second. The replay booth has signaled they want to take another look at this one. So after taking a closer look, the officials are going to overturn that previous ruling on the field. PAT makes it a seven-point lead. Getting set to kick the ball off now. And here's the return from inside the five. It'll be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt last time. Can they get this offense going finally? Get some points out of this possession. And they'll tackle at about the 23-yard line. Game makes it second and medium. They call the counter run here. Picks up a short game, but is swarmed by the defense flying to the football. The punter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? They'll run it here. Running back has the ball. He's tackled short of the 30, but that's good enough for a first down. The Cornhuskers come to the line to start a fresh set of downs. Now they'll switch it up, looking to throw the ball here. Let's it go quickly. Over the middle, it's Mayer. Big play across the field, but spot it near the 36. That'll put him over 150 yards today. Kirk, he is putting on a show on this big stage. How great is this? On this stage, as you mentioned, Chris, just playing his best game. He's been in sync with his receivers. Back there, has time to throw. Just having a dream performance. The Huskers will try to keep this drive moving. Shotgun formation. Here's an inside give. Tackle behind the line. It's a loss of two. <laughs> Second 
Second down play coming up. To throw, it's Wyola. Close to the tight end. He's a wide open receiver, complete. Tackle made after a big game. This big tight end running a corner route? Listen, as a defensive coordinator, if you put a smaller safety on him, he's too small to be able to match up with his size. And if you go with a linebacker, you're going to be too slow to go with his speed. The Cornhuskers move into the red zone. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. Oh, a sack. The senior on this defense making a big play. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. And Sack sets up second down. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. They'll try the ground game here with the running back. Not much on that play brought down short. Eighth play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Grab behind the line, it's Spanks. He starts short of the marker, so it's fourth down now. Great job here by the defense. Third down and long, you drop back in coverage, keep everything in front of you, force that quarterback to have to check the ball down, and then you rally to the football to force his fourth down. Great job here by the D. Coach elects to try for three points and sends out the field goal unit. Kick is good. Gives the offense three points to show for that drive. And he takes this from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. They punched it in the last possession. Can they do it again? Or will this defense make some adjustments to get a stop? It's a solid game. Moves the ball out to the 28. The Buffaloes looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Dropping back, it's Sanders. Makes a quick grab. Tackled at the 40 and a load of fresh set of downs. They bring him down, but the veteran quarterback shows off that trademark arm strength. This defense has got to be aware of these quick throws to these wide receivers. They're lucky he didn't come up with more yards. No huddle now for the offense. Cut quickly. Brought down very quickly. Not much to show for that completion. Here we go, first play of the quarter. Offense setting up for a second down play. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Quick pass, here comes a jet sweep. And they'll stop him after a short game. Out of bounds, but does have enough yardage 
to pick up the first down. Oh, that one really hurts for this defense. They get these guys the third down, a chance to maybe get them off the field, and they give up a first down late in the game. The clock will continue to roll. And the Buffaloes will line up on first and ten. Drops back from the shotgun, looking for an open man. He'll take a deep shot here. The catch is made for a huge pickup. They bring him down, but a big chunk of yardage on the play. Now that's how you execute. I wonder what the next play call is going to be, because after that big play, I'm all about taking a shot right to the end zone here. And the Buffaloes are going to cash in in the red zone. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. He'll hand it off. They stop him after a six-yard game. So second and four. Boy, is this guy fun to watch or what? Here we are in the fourth quarter. Critical down in distances. And this guy is just churning out yards the way he has most of this game. Showing a lot of physicality and natural running instincts in space. The Buffaloes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. A pop pass on the jet sweep. Doesn't quite get in, but it sets up a first and goal for this offense. A nice little simple touch pass here by the quarterback, getting the ball out to the receiver who's in motion. Look, that doesn't turn into a huge play, but they do pick up a first down, and no offense is ever going to say no to moving the chains. For the offense, a chance to extend the lead, but more importantly, milk the clock here late in the game. Grab behind the line. It's Hart. Brought down at the three after the completion. The offense really threatening now. All right, second down and goal now for this offense. Motion now from the tight end. And the quarterback keeps it here. Touchdown, Colorado. Still no answer for this offense. So the offense flexing, Kirk, and stretching the lead here now in the second half. Well, you can catch your breath here a little bit if you're this offense. That touchdown can help you out. But now your own defense can help you preserve the lead so you can go back out and continue to build upon that to the finish. And they get set now to try the BAT. Extra point is up and good, so the lead now is 11 here in the final quarter. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. Fields it just outside the goal line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. Here comes the Nebraska offense back out on the field. It's hard to win these games just kicking field goals. They need to find the end zone here. Some urgency. Trying to flex the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Well, the defense got out muscled at the point of attack there, and the back showed good vision to get to the hole and get the first down. Ball moves to the 37 on the game. It's first down. He hands it off from the gun. He's brought down, but not before the game to the 42-yard line. Second down after that run on the previous play. Dropping back, it's Wyola. Quick throw, catch made on the out route. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. 
The key here, Chris, is the timing by the quarterback. The fact he got the ball out quickly gave his receiver a chance. One more hitch or a slight hesitation, and that's an incompletion or an interception. And look at the throw now on first down. Caught behind the line. It's Nayer. Finds room at the 30. They finally get him down, but an explosive play. The offense in business now at the 24. It's an excellent throw by the quarterback, finding that window between the zones and delivering the ball on time. And the Huskers have first and 10 here. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. And the senior able to make the stop after a short game. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? From the shotgun, it's a handoff. Eludes a tackle. And he's able to find some room before they finally bring him down. The Cornhuskers looking to cash in this red zone trip. Going to throw for it on third and short. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Nebraska. That's a crucial score for it. Makes it a one possession game and makes the stretch run of this very interesting. Yeah, now the pressure turns to their opponent and their offense. Momentum is starting to tilt, and it's your job to go into your four minute offense. But I'd expect this defense to be extra aggressive to try to get this ball back. Deciding to go for two, trying to cut this lead to a field goal late in the game. Looking downfield, it's Raiola. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. A great job here by the defense on this conversion. Nice heads-up play to prevent the two-point try. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Turner trying to create good field position bulldozing his way through those tackles. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the Colorado offense is back out on the field. Suddenly, this is a tighter game. We'd love to build a drive, choose some clock. How aggressive will they get with the play call? They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. And the Buffaloes hustle to the line to run the hurry up. They look to throw it here on second down. Oh, and it's almost picked off. A chance for their first interception today. Going to set up third down. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, Sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Caught in the backfield. It's Hunter. Both carrier heads out of bounds, but the pickup was good enough to move the chains. First down. Oh, nice job here by the receiver to be able to pick up this first down. I guess the only thing he could have done better was stay in bounds. you got to stay in bounds to be able to keep that clock moving with the lead. See what the call is on first and ten. Handoff to the back. Picks up the first, looking for more. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Well, let's give credit to the offensive line there. They were able to pave the way for that first down. And the Buffaloes moving quickly down the field here. First down, right back to the running game. 
Yeah, I like the run play here. And offensively, at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. They'll run it. Hand it off to the running back. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Offense looking to keep the drive alive. It's third down. To throw. It's Sanders. And he'll send this one to the right side after a picked off a crucial turnover. It's a short return, but a takeaway for this defense. Boy, I got to question the play call right here. Give the defense credit. They get the interception. They put themselves in a spot to maybe tie this game. But what was the offensive coordinator thinking with the lead, taking a chance, and it backfired? Nebraska's offense is back out on the field. They really had the defense off balance in the last possession, mixing the run and pass extremely well. And from the shotgun, an inside handoff. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. Offense getting set. It's second down. Takes the handoff again. Breaking tackles. He'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. And the player is down injured after that last play. He'll take a timeout while they check him out. First down here for this offense. Here's the snap. Quarterback looking to throw. They've got him. It's a sack for the defense. You know, a lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one -on -one battles with the receivers and the DBs. Here's a great example of up front, the offensive line and the defensive line. Who wins that battle? This time the defense wins it and they get the sack. After the loss on first down, it's second and long from the 22. Looking downfield, it's Ryola. Quick throw to his receiver. He's got an open man downfield, and it's caught. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big game. This guy's been such a big factor in this game. Already a couple touchdowns. Now they need the first down. They dial him up again, and he delivers. The Huskers getting set on first and ten. Offense will keep it on the ground here. Run down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. Motion by the back will make the defense adjust. They flip it to him on the jet sweep. They make the tackle, but that's a solid gain. Moves the ball to the 34. First down play call coming up. How aggressive will it be? Handoff heading left. Solid eight-yard gain brings up a second and two. Takes the ball and heads to the left. 
He will be stuffed for no gain. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. So the offense faces third and short from the plus 26. Might be four down territory, but let's see what the call is here. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Grab down the middle. It's Mayer. Tackle, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Well, the quarterback has just too much time against this zone. There's not enough pressure allowing him to sit back and pick apart this zone defense. The Cornhuskers are in the red zone. Handoff here from the shotgun. Going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Coming to the line on second down, this is important. They want to avoid a third and long. Defense is coming after him. Makes the grab, a chance to score. Tackle down at the three after the catch. Defense up against it now. And a quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve as much clock as possible. Crucial, third down coming up in the red zone. Can they keep the drive going, or will they have to settle for three? Try to pick up the third and short through the air. He's got it near the end zone. And he can't quite get in. They get him down at the one-yard line. Man, give the defense a lot of credit. You're taking away the elite receiver, that primary target, forces the quarterback to find a second or third option. He gets positive yards, but anytime you can take away the big play late in the game, it's going to help you be able to secure victory. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. Complete to the running back. Can he get first down yardage? And he's not going to get there. The defense rises up and makes a huge fourth down stop. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They get him down. The gain is to about the 12. And now a timeout taken by the defense trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. The Buffaloes enter the final minute here just looking to run the clock out. From the shotgun now, here's an inside give. And now it's the defense that calls timeout here trying to get organized and preserve as much clock as possible. visitors to play and they tackle him but not before he picks up the first so with the lead secure here it's time to just take a knee run out the clock and plan the victory celebration 